figured there'd be at least one bass sitting on this break over here where there's a break in the current from the main river to this little channel. I haven't gotten a bite yet though. I'm gonna paddle up river I think first. And get into some of this stuff before I get swept down. Might have just gotten tagged by something. Might have been the bottom. Oh no, I definitely got tagged by something. So there's, I think they're sitting in this seam, like I was saying. There we go. That's, oh, that was a good size, too. Man, that is a strong current. I need a couple of casts before it takes me back down. off there we go there we go that's one on that's a good one that's got to be a good one yeah just that current is ripping Got one in the boat, guys. Pretty decent one off the swim jig. Let's try to go over here into the eddy and get them situated. It's a pretty decent net. I don't know why I got hung up on it today. Oh my goodness. That would have sucked. Let's get this guy taken care of. I got him on the swim jig. There he is. Little small mouth. Get him back in. And do it again. There we go. Little guy. Little rock bass. Little rock bass, let him go. That's not what we're looking for. Ooh, there was a good take right there. Little guy. little rock backs rock passes he's actually a good size for what he is wow he's actually a chunker man stud this guy's a stud look at this thing Oh my goodness, this guy is crazy. <coughs> I 
That's a good one. That's a good one. Feels like a good one anyways. Oh, and it came off. Oh, that was a good one. That was good. That was a good one. It came right up for that worm. Right in the nose. Give you a bloody nose, buddy. It's a little weedless VMC hook. And there's that guy. Not the biggest guy, but still fun to catch. There's a fish. See what we got, little guy probably. Oh, that jig is bent. That's probably why I'm not getting a good hookup ratio. Yeah, another little small mouth. Little guy, fat belly. He's eating. That's good. But that jig is bent. That is no good. And look at this thing. Alright. Now let's give it a shot. Stay buttoned up. That has to stay buttoned up. I just fixed my jig, so you gotta stay. You gotta stay buttoned up. Little guy. I've been catching these all day, I think. This size is about the same. guy came out way out after it. I felt that one. That was a good little take. This guy actually might be some size. Might be decent. Oh yeah, he's decent. <laughs> Popped off the last second. I got him though. Ah, I think I just got bit by a spider or stung. Oh man. All right, let's look at this guy. Gotcha. There we go. That's a better size. That's what we're looking for. More like this. That's a good looking smallmouth bass. Good pattern. Good fat looking smallmouth bass. 
St. Joe River. I love it. There he goes. So getting hung up on that one. Moving at this rate, it's going to be a gun lure. I just don't have. Oh, there we go. That was like a better one. Oh, and it came off. He was definitely a better one. Okay, so I lost audio on the GoPro. Um, so I'm just going to do a voiceover on this. Uh, I switched over to a spinner bait. The water really slowed down. It was a, um, the current just kind of dropped off in this area. So I figured something with a little bit more flash, a little bit more, uh, larger profile. And the wind was just kind of, uh, on the surface. And it looked like it paid off here with another smallmouth bass. This guy was sitting back in these, uh, in this timber. It was typical for these guys to be sitting right alongside the wood and the bank in the shadows. And towards the end of the day, that's what I was targeting. Was pretty much all of these uh, these areas. The thing that I was struggling with the most today was the current, just keeping my kayak in. Uh, these guys, uh, they were out here I think for maybe an hour or so, and they hadn't caught any fish, so kind of shared with them what I was doing and what was working for me and I was telling them that I was looking for basically trees that actually came to the water rocks basically what these guys were fishing but I was finding that most of the bass were staging on the timber so anywhere that there there was uh, trees actually coming down and touching the water kind of like this set of trees right here these uh, two trees that were actually in the water that little pocket was where I was aiming and this next one right here I hooked up with a actually the first largemouth bass of the day and I think I was going to get into more of these if I would have stayed in this area the water was a lot slower uh, that one just came unhooked right as I got into the net the other thing that I was experiencing today was when I would catch a fish and I put it in the net immediately I had to start paddling to get into a position so I could actually manage the fish the current was ripping this day this is a good size largemouth bass you can see that is staging getting ready to spawn um, that back red that back tail is getting all red it's good size first largemouth of the day any of these guys were sold on what I was Telling them about where the fish were staging. Got it back in the water. There it goes. So this ended the day. I uh, went down maybe a quarter of a mile. Got picked up on the white with the boat ramp. It was a good day on the water. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.